You know what you came here for. Sit back and tune in for Aisha Talor. Yeah, yeah. Hi, guys. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. I'm your girl, Aisha Talor. So today's video is going to be all about how to get a new dog when you already have a dog or several dogs. Because it's important to actually make this a very smooth and easy transition and if you don't follow a couple of tips then this can go completely off route. So if you haven't seen that video already I do have a new dog. I will leave that video up here and I have my new dog which is Chanel and then I have my old dog which is Carter. Carter will be four years old, probably four years old when you're watching this. Chanel is currently 14 weeks, three months. So, and they're also totally different breeds. Carter is a Silky Terrier, aka Yorkie, sure. And <laughs> Chanel is a mix. She's a Maltese Bichon Poodle. Before getting a new dog, before you even bring the new dog home, there's a couple things that you need to do to ensure this is a smooth and easy transition. With making sure he's loved on or your existing pet is loved on and has new items and such. So a few days before we kind of knew we were going to see Chanel, we got him some new treats. I think I got him a new toy. Um, he got a new outfit as well. I'll leave a picture. <laughs> And he um, actually has a discount code too, Carter10, at Willow's Pet Palace. If you want to check out some clothes from there, you can. Definitely really good quality. They feel like human clothing. Like, they're super thick and long-lasting. I definitely recommend getting some new things for your pets so they feel loved and don't feel stale that a new one is coming with new things. Making sure that their routine is solid. Now... This is one of my cons that I will mention at the end of the video. Make sure you have the same routine, nothing changes, same time you feed them, same going outside routine, whatever, down pack before you get a new dog. Because if you switch everything and get a new dog, it's going to be too many changes for the pet. Also along with the solid routine, make sure they, they know their commands and if they're trained that they still know those training words and um, signals because with a new dog and a different attention they might you know not <laughs> follow the commands and I'll get to that in a second okay so on to getting a new dog right you've met the dog whatever again I kind of told you how I got Chanel in that video so you can check that out but when you're getting a new dog ask tons of questions ask are they trained um pub pad trained commands trained do they have shots it's not the best to have a new dog that doesn't have shots when you're bringing it home to an old dog just because you know you don't know what they can give each other or whatever um well if you do get a dog and they didn't have any prior shots which mm, shouldn't be recommended make sure you bring them to a vet immediately before they even meet your new your old dog so, on to the very very first meeting of your two dogs i did record this process check the playlist the first 24 hours of my of my new dog I show you how Carter and Chanel met, but when you're introducing your new dog and your old dog together, make sure they're both on a leash. If not, make sure the old one is definitely on a leash and the new one you're holding if they're small or something. Just so they can sniff each other, kind of get familiarized with each other in a safe environment and do not leave them unsupervised super quickly. I would say try to not leave them unsupervised for at least a couple days if you can manage. We all work, we all have lives, but it's just not recommended to leave them alone because you don't know their temperament around each other just yet. So now that you have your new dog home, establish certain areas where the new dog and the old dog will be. Try not to have them in the same area just because the old dog is going to feel very territorial because they've been in the house longer than the new dog. Um, and also making sure that the new dog has its own items, its own bed, blanket, bowls, things of that nature. I made the mistake and it's not maybe, it's not necessarily a mistake per se. I did this on purpose. But I waited until I got Chanel to know her proper sizing to get her leash and collar and harness. Um, and so in the meantime, she was using Carter's very first collar and leash. Carter didn't like that so much. He knows his scent. He was smelling it and he got really frustrated with that. So if you can prevent that and probably get a collar and harness and leash the same day you get your new pet, that would be ideal. But I was ordering it on Amazon just because I like Amazon. Carter is not so happy right now that she kind of touched some of his old toys 
and now he's not touching it. So that can happen as well. Very territorial dogs will feel threatened, I guess, by a new dog and their scent and stuff like that. So another thing to note is it's common for your old dog's behavior to change and be more aggressive or be more quiet or I don't know whatever it can change so Carter at the moment is being more disobedient unfortunately and um, not following the commands but it's expected because he's trying to test the test the waters I suppose and test out patience but just know that it's, it's gonna be a process when a new dog is in the family Another thing that is important to do when you have a new dog is to spend time with the dogs together and also separately. I'm going to be filming my everyday routine with two dogs very soon so you can see this in action. But Bay and I separate them. We both work from home. So we separate them during the day and then switch off during lunch. Um, so they're both spending time with both of us and then in the evening we're all together just so we have that family time and they get used to each other as well. Um, it's super important especially for Carter because he gravitates towards me a lot more so I have to spend a little bit more time with him in, in the beginning stages of right now just so he doesn't feel left out. Um, and again, making sure the routine of, of your old dog doesn't change too drastically so they don't feel neglected or overwhelmed. And that being said, try to get the new dog on the same schedule as the old dog, just so it doesn't look like it's favoritism. The, fer child, the very first day, <laughs> the very first day I had Chanel, I had to feed her earlier than Carter, and he flipped out. He was like, "Why are not I eating? Why is she? Why is she eating?" So after that, I decided to just feed them at the same time. <laughs> literally at the same time and of course this goes without saying get the new dog familiarized with the commands and the house rules so again it doesn't look like the new one is getting away with things and the old one is just like okay but I couldn't get away with it you know so it's it it will take a second obviously if the dog isn't trained to train them but just making sure that you do incorporate that time to train and get them all in the same word so if sit Sit means sit for both of them. Bed is bed for both of them. Making sure that they know what the words are. And I kind of alluded to this already, but for your old dog, just continue to kind of show them love and give them new things and new treats. So Chanel got tons of new things, not only because she's a new dog, so she needed her own things, but she's a girl. So I got really cute girl things. So Carter was just like, well, where are my things? So I also would buy him a couple things as well. So he's having something new and she has something new. So just continuing the love and the new treats and the new things for the old dog to keep them still feeling wanted of course okay so like i kind of mentioned earlier <laughs> one thing that i regret or we regret because it's me and babes we regret changing carter's food at the exact same time we were getting a new dog so we were transitioning carter's diet completely from a store-bought food to a more holistic raw brand and that's totally different right so we literally changed his food the same day she got home i regret that decision because he from the food and maybe from just a new dog being added he has diarrhea and upset stomach and it's been a crazy transition for sure so don't change anything out of your old dog's routine diet nothing because then it'll be horrible in the beginning so that's something that I learned that I'm obviously telling y'all because that's what I'm here for I'm here to kind of tell y'all what I'm learning tips and stuff like that so you don't make the same mistakes at all so if you are also a dog person with multiple dogs leave any tips suggestions down below if you have any questions you're getting a new dog let me know in the comments below I definitely answer everyone's questions if you're hesitating getting another dog and you only have one, get another one. I was hesitant at first because I'm like, why do I need another one? But so far, they don't like each other, but they will love each other eventually. And so I believe in dogs having their own companions. So why not? So if you're contemplating and, and if you're able to afford it, of course, and have the space and all that stuff, then go ahead and get one. It's a joy. <laughs> so I'll catch you guys in the next one. Like I said, leave all your comments concerns questions down below and i'll get back to y'all but don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button and i'll catch you guys on the next one peace